Dunkin' Donuts made ads like this for drinks a long time ago, so let's riff it in Blender because that's where we are now, and it's awesome. Start in Blender by deleting the default cube, because for some reason that's still funny. Next, make a cylinder. That'll be our glass, the thing that the blueberries will shape themselves into. It's kind of the point of this, so make it like a pint glass, or like one of those plastic cups that litter the floor of yoga studios. After you'd made it into the shape of a cup, by using your Jedi modeling skills to extrude, translate, loop cut, slide, etc., it's time to make a blueberry. The ones I'm going to make here are stupid simple, and it would be better to use 3D scanned ones that you can scan with your phone now, but I'll just make this one because it's still fun to be a human and make things. I'll start with a sphere, then just grab some parts, extrude, grab other parts, pull, extrude more, pull, extrude, y you get the point. I'm really just using extrude and loop cuts here, then adding a subdivision surface modifier. Once I'm done with that, I scale it down, and there, something that looks blueberry-ish or something. There are like 300 Blender modeling videos uploaded every 15 minutes now, so I'm not going to waste your time with modeling here. Let's get into shading. I just gave it a quick procedural shader. Again, scanned blueberries would look better, but this is quick, dirty, and fun. Just some Musgrave shading to break up the color a bit, and we can get close to the look of blueberries while keeping this in Blender, which is what I want to do for this video anyway. Once we have the blueberry in the glass, we can set up the simulation. I'm going really fast here before half of you bounce, but... I do have an hour-long video up on Patreon detailing this whole thing step-by-step, step, from modeling to simulation to lighting and rendering. It's very beginner-friendly, and I even have a video that takes this and brings it into Houdini and adds juice and blows it up that's over an hour long itself. And it's all step-by-step step there as well. The link is in the description if you're interested. For the blueberries, I just make lots of instances and move them around. Instances work well for this, and you can move, rotate, and scale them independently, and the memory footprint is much smaller than duplicates. This even works on lower-end computers, mostly. It takes a few tries to get it right, and see how many blueberries I need to fill the glass. The more math-minded people can figure this out with volume too, but there's lots of ways to do things in Blender. I used rigid bodies for this, as the speed and bounciness didn't show too much compression. But feel free to use soft bodies for squishier things if you want. Blueberries are pretty dense, and rigid solve quickly and can work depending on the look you're going for. This isn't a physics lesson, but if you do know physics, then, you know, by all means, feel free to use that here. Once you run the sim and get the blueberries acting how you want, cache out the simulation in Rigid Body World on the Scene tab. This bakes the simulation to disk and lets you work faster. Now, we had a floor in a photo drop cloth style. This is just a plane cut once, beveled, and shaped into position. For beginners watching this, it's really just loop cut, control B for bevel, and then spin your mouse wheel to get that curve. Once we have that, we can add in an empty to aim the camera at. I go into aiming cameras a whole lot more in the video above. This is just a simple constraint setup. Then we animate the camera and find good movement. This allows us to test the shot and see how it looks. I decided here to make the simulation start later at frame 48, so I'd adjusted the start time and cached it again. I wanted some lead in time. Once we have that, we can add in a straw for this particular spot. It's just a cylinder animated to come in at a certain time. Nothing special. Once we're happy with that, we can adjust the shader on the backdrop, add in some lights, and play around until we're happy, then render it out. If you want real detail in the blend file to pick apart, it's up on Patreon. There. You have a product spot that you can refine and push into commercial quality with some more effort or tons of notes from a team at an ad agency. You can also swap in whatever you want. Have a great day. Thank you, and come again.